Given the following mechanism, write the reaction for step 1 and identify all intermediates. Does this reaction have a catalyst? We've been given the overall reaction. That's at the bottom there. It shows H2 plus Cl2 gives you 2 HCl. What we're going to do is look backwards up through the different steps that lead to this overall reaction and see what we have that's in the final step that was given to us along the way. We can see that we need Cl2 in the final step and we have a Cl2 here at the beginning. So that's good. We can actually just cross that off as being a reactant and it appears in the reaction at the bottom. So we're good. We're covered on that. We see that there's H2 and it's in the final step. So we're covered on that. That means those are reactants. On the other side of the equation, we can see we have two HCl here in the products and we have two HCl up here in our reactant. So we can cross those off as having been dealt with. Now with whatever's left over, we need to do some matching up, see what we have and see what we're going to need to make this thing work overall. We've accounted for everything that's in the overall reaction. What's left has to be sorted out. I can see uh, Cl at the beginning and at the end here. So we've accounted for that one. I can see an H here and it was made in the previous step that lets us account for that one. Now the problem I've got here is in step number four, I need two CLs and I haven't been given them yet and they're not in the final step. So we know they're not counted as a reactant. Therefore, what I'm gonna to need to do is put a CL plus a CL. That will account for these two here. Those are our mystery pieces. It also shows that Cl2 is a product, but it doesn't appear in the overall reaction. That must mean I started off with a Cl2 here to uh, compensate for that. The idea when we're trying to find the missing step is find out what's missing and what had to happen for us to get it. Overall, we know our missing first step was chlorine going to make two separate Cl to be used later in the reaction. Now, as for identifying the intermediates, in the first step we make Cl two times, and then later we use it up in the reaction. That makes it a reaction intermediate. In the next step, we see hydrogen is made, and in the step that follows, it is used up. We can see from this that between the reactants and the products and the intermediates, that doesn't leave anything else to be a catalyst. So this reaction does not have a catalyst.